hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today and thank you for clicking on this video so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update about my garden and also show you how you can plant your celery this way you don't have to go to the store every now and then to buy celery uh, and um, in, also if you can't find celery seeds you can use this method to plant it and listen you can plant your celery in a pot listen you don't need to have a big backyard like mine to plant you to grow your vegetables to have a garden you can start with a pot like a pot like this something like this see that yeah so you can use pots um, or containers to grow your vegetables and um, you can see from the background that my garden is dry I made a video on how my garden turned from garden to just desert i'm going to leave that video in the description box below i want you to check it out so and um you can see from the background it's dry unlike before during summer that everywhere would have been vegetables beautiful but listen the weather is warming up i don't know where you are comments in the tell let me know in the comment section below which state you are i hear that right now in texas it is very very snowy and then people lost um and then people don't have power i i can i cannot even imagine that so my heart goes out to my texan people my texan fans and other people uh which other state is it ohio oklahoma um that is being affected my heart goes out to you guys okay just hang in there everything is gonna be all right so for this video first of all let me show you guys uh, what I was talking about so I use the same method that I'm going to show you and I, I grew this so thankfully the weather is warming up and today it's about 62 degrees so it's warming up and I was able to plant this this celery uh with the method that i'm going to show you in this video for today so you can use this method to grow your celery you see this 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 so i i thought this was gonna grow but looks like this is not it's not gonna this this is not good it's not gonna grow like this but this way it's gonna grow so i'll show you this method not this it's not if you put it like this on the ground it's not going to grow look at this one mm, all of this see so all of these i'm going to approach all this because this is not this method is not working so i'm going to show you the method that is working so keep watching so right here i have two celery stock that i bought from the store you can see this one it has the the is it the root the stalk the bottom so this is intact unlike the one that i showed you the stick that i showed you remember the the stick that i showed you so i have two of those uh, two of these celeries here that i got at the store now you don't have to do not plant it like this you see i'm detaching like this you it cannot grow like this if you plant like this just one celery stick it, it won't grow that's the method that i used before and it did not work so what i want you to do is that so here i have my knife what you're going to do is that you will cut this from here just cut it cut it with a knife and be careful make sure you don't cut your hand okay you see that then you go ahead and do the same for this one
Okay. So, I'm going to use the sticks for my smoothie. I'm using the celery sticks for my smoothie. But for this one, see how it is? This is what we are going to plant. I believe that you do buy celeries that that come like this. This is you want the one that comes with the bottom because I know that some stores do have just the celery sticks just like this in packs. You don't want to buy this the one except it's for smoothie, you don't want to plant it, but if you want to plant it, you have to buy the ones that have this bottom because this is what we are going to plant. Okay, let's go to the let's go to the soil. And do some planting so I have two here I'll show you what to do so here I have my I have my shovel I have my shovel a little shovel this process takes you about less than five minutes because the the hole doesn't have to be you're gonna dig about say four inches or three inches okay because it's not gonna be deep so I'm going to make a hole like this, not a deep hole, but say about three inches, three to four inches, okay, like this, and then make sure I level the, the soil like this, level the soil like this, you need about three inches, three inches is fine, I'm feeling it, um, then I'm gonna put one of the celery stick, the stock. So place it like that, and then you cover it up. Do not cover everything; just enough to hold it, just in case um, it's breezy, windy. Anyway, it's a little bit heavy, so it will not be uprooted. But just make sure that, or in case it rains, so that the water will not uproot it so i'm just filling this hole with some soil just to just to hold the stock on the ground you see so you do it this way and then i'm going to repeat the same process so that i can plant the second one so dig a hole like this about three inches And I do not, I do not add um, chemicals or preservatives, uh, artificial fertilizers to my garden. I don't do that. What I do is that I throw in my kitchen compost, like avocado peels, banana peels, plantain peels, potato peels, things like that. That is what I use as fertilizer. So my garden is purely organic. And I would like you to do the same. For years because it's not good to attach to put all those chemicals in the food that you grow not good okay so I've made about three inches of hole and then I'm gonna put this top just place it here firmly and then I'm gonna fill it with some sand some soil make sure like I said make sure that you do not cover it so that because you want it to grow out so don't cover it, just make sure that the soil holds the, the bottom, the stalk at the bottom, so that it's firm, like this. So just fill in the, fill in your soil, like this. And because this is um, almost getting to spring, so I don't have to water it. But if you plant it during summer that it's very, very sunny, you have to water it, say like three times every week, three times or four times a week, so that um, it will be able to grow, so that it will have that moisture at the, in the ground to grow. Otherwise, because during summer the ground is dry, so you want to make sure that you give it that moisture to be able to grow out but you can see that my my ground here is soggy because it's it's a uh, winter and it's been raining 
so i don't have to pour uh, any more water i don't have to water it it will grow out because the soil is soggy already it has water so yeah so this is how you plant your celery so don't throw it away when you buy it make sure that you you can grow it in a pot don't throw it away and that will save you this method is going to save you a lot of money so you can see that i have one two three then i'm planting the fourth one and the fifth one and i'm going to keep doing like this till this whole reach i'm going to keep doing like this till all this ridge is um filled with celery i think i'm going to dedicate just this ridge for celery all of this i'm going to plant plant celery but luckily for me this is some potato this is potato maybe when i harvested my potatoes last year i didn't harvest everything maybe i left one i think so i left one in the ground and i just saw this you know uh coming out so this is potato because i left one in the ground and i have some colored green here so this is also colored green this is i did not plant this maybe one of those seeds because this is where i planted the colored green and i harvested tons of seeds i'm going to leave also leave the video in the description box below so that you don't have to buy colored green anymore you can use this method and grow tons of colored greens i'm not going to buy colored greens again this year so you can see here <clears throat> that these are all organic fertilizers this is tangerine peels tangerine peels onion peels and um, lemon lemon peels you know things like that that is what i put that's what i used to grow my that is what i used to grow my vegetables and it's the best so that you don't um you know eat anything artificial you want your garden to be organic okay all right guys i just wanted to take you through let you see how i plant my celery you don't have to buy the seed at the store you can use this method every time you you know buy celery just cut the bottom and plant it the way i did that's it so thank you so much guys for watching i'm gonna see you guys in my next video if you haven't subscribed please click that red subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of my videos and also check out the description box below for my beautiful garden videos that like the bitter leaves the scent leaves my garden was booming i mean it was doing really really well it was blooming well but by summer everywhere is going to be filled up with vegetables because um it's i'm going to plant some more vegetables this year and i'm going to take you guys along so make sure you click the subscribe button click the bell icon for notifications and give me a thumbs up share this video and i'll see you in my next video bye